Once again, in front of me, we have four different wireless mic systems. Hopefully by the end of this video, you can figure out which one of these mics is right for you. This video is sponsored by Clickasnap, which is a brand new social media platform. It's one part Instagram, one part Shutterstock, and one part Google AdSense all wrapped into one. The most unique element of Clickasnap is that you get paid up to $9 for every 1,000 views your images get, which is honestly much more than we get paid on YouTube. And if you want, you can choose to sell your photos on the platform as well. Unlike every other social media platform with Clickasnap, you don't have to give up your image rights, you don't have to figure out how to game some algorithm, and there's no data harvesting or selling to third-party entities. If you're a photographer looking for a new way to display your work while also making money, join Clickasnap in the link below. All right, let me quickly tell you what I have in front of me here. This is the wireless G4 system by Sennheiser. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2 system. This is DJI's mic system. I believe that's what it's called. And this is the brand new Rode Wireless Me system. The Sennheiser G4 system should be the most professional of the bunch. I mean, this was significantly more expensive than anything I have over here. And this microphone, the MKE2 microphone, I believe. I think I spent over $300 just on the wired mic, making the mic itself more expensive than all of these other microphone systems. I think I spent around $1,000 on this whole setup over here where everything over here is like 300, 300, 150 bucks. So significantly higher price than everything else and you would expect it to be way better, but I have actually found that every mic system on this table has been far more reliable than this Sennheiser system for me. For some reason, I can't sell this thing. I, I always end up going back to it and using it on a photo shoot, but it just gives me so much trouble. There's static all the time. We're having to wait for it to scan channels to find a clean channel. And then for some reason in the middle of the shoot, that channel won't be clean anymore and the static comes back. So this product absolutely drives me mad, but at the same time, I don't think I'll ever get rid of it, and at the very least, it will just be a backup system for something else that I use. Now, a few years ago, Rode came out with the Rode Go, which absolutely blew my mind, and then they came out with the Rode Go 2, which included one receiver and two transmitters. And what I love about the system, first of all, is probably just that it's been 100% reliable. I have never once had static with this system ever. To be honest, I've never had static with any of these systems, just the Sennheisers. The other thing that I love about this product is that it's just so versatile. You don't have to use a lav mic with it if you don't want to because each transmitter has a microphone built in. So you can just clip it to your shirt really quickly if you wanna run and gun. Or if you have a really nice mic like I do over here, I can plug it in right here and we can use this on our belt like we would any other older system. One other amazing feature is that you can turn on internal recording on these transmitters as well, meaning that each time you turn on one of these mics, it's just going to start recording and saving to an internal memory bank. So if you happen to be filming over a long distance, maybe the audio is cutting in and out, maybe you lose connection totally, you can plug these into a computer and recover that audio, and then you can sync it up in post afterwards, which is amazing. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this system is actually broken. The batteries are exploding out of each one of these little things, and I'm not sure it's Rode's fault. Somebody sent me a charging dock for the wireless Go 2 system to review, and I plugged all of these mics in, and when I checked back on them a few weeks later, all of the batteries had expanded and blown up the case. So obviously uh, these are not currently working. I'm going to have to uh, replace the batteries somehow to get these working again. So I can't do a side-by-side -side audio comparison, but you've heard it before. I've done it in other videos. The audio out of these sounds great. It sounds pretty decent with the built-in microphone. And then if you add your own lav, it sounds even better. Now I have only ever had one major issue with this product and it was a fairly serious one and it was an issue with audio clipping. The built-in microphones, when I set the audio all the way low and I would go to the receiver and I'd set it all the way low and I'd go to my camera and I'd set the audio really, really low, if I would get loud, I could still sometimes make this microphone clip when it was right here on my shirt. All right, guys, this is the video you have been waiting for. Now, I do wanna point out that internally, 
the audio that's recorded out of these built-in mics sounds great. So if I had grabbed that file and synced it up, it would have been fine. And also, I never have had a clipping issue when I plug in a lav mic and run it up my shirt. Those come in at a lower level, and so clipping has never been a problem there either. But for me, the entire point of this system is just how small and quick and convenient it is. And so for that reason, when all the batteries exploded on these, I wasn't that quick to replace them. That leads me to the next microphone in my wireless mic journey, the DJI mic system which is a fascinating product. It's very similar to the Rode Wireless Go 2 in that there is one receiver. It's got a screen on it. We also have two individual transmitters. Each transmitter comes with a built-in microphone. It also comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack so you could plug in any lav mic that you happen to own already. These are almost half the size of Rode's microphones, making them much smaller and more convenient to put on your shirt. They also come with a ton of different accessories. They come with a clip, but then they also come with a magnet so you could put it like on any shirt. If you don't want to put it up high, you could put it down low like this. It also comes with all these cables and stuff so you could plug it into a phone or you could plug it into a camera. These these also have the ability to record internally, just like the Rhodes. And quite possibly one of the coolest things about this is that it all comes in its own charging case. So you put everything in the case, you charge it with USB-C, but then the case itself has its own battery that can charge everything up. So as you're shooting throughout the day, if you have a second, you just take off your mic, put it in the case, and then when you grab it a few minutes later, it's charged up again. I've recently filmed two gigantic projects with this mic system and I had no problems at all. Not once did I hear static, not once. And I used this side by side with my Sennheiser system, which was constantly failing every day. This system, which was easier, faster, smaller, worked perfectly. Now, Rode said they were gonna send me a new wireless lab and I was expecting it to be the response to DJI's mics. I was super excited. And then when I got it, I realized, okay, this is like a totally different segment here. First of all, this is significantly cheaper at just $150. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, this could definitely be the best choice. You also probably notice that each one of these mics comes with two transmitters and one receiver, whereas this comes with one transmitter and one receiver. However, there are two microphones, which is quite interesting. This seems to be made with the standard like influencer, YouTuber, TikToker in mind with the idea that you could have a microphone on a subject and you could have a microphone on the camera facing backwards at the person who's actually filming. So maybe for instance, you're filming and you're talking to somebody who's wearing their own microphone and you wanna interview them and ask them a question, well, you want your audio to be picked up as well. So instead of having to have three modules here, you could get away with just having two. And the other interesting thing about this is that it does allow you to connect a wireless go to this system. So you could, in theory, have two transmitters and three microphones with this system if you were willing to buy that extra transmitter. The other great thing is that the Mi system has fixed the clipping issue. So when you buy these, you can download the Rode application on your computer, plug this in, turn on the auto setting, and that's going to set the level based on how loud the person is in the scene. We've done tests and it doesn't seem to clip anymore, which was really my only problem with the Rode Go system. Now, obviously these are cheaper and so you're gonna have to give up some features and there are three main things you're giving up. One, the range is cut in half. So instead of 200 meters, it's dropped to 100 meters. For the average person, maybe that doesn't matter at all, but for me, I would absolutely pay a premium to not have to deal with static anymore in my life. There's just times where I'm filming somebody far away and when the audio's ruined, the entire thing is ruined. And so if I could pay a little bit more and have more range, I would personally do it. But I understand this really isn't made for somebody like me. You're also going to lose that internal audio recording. So unlike these that have that backup audio that you can grab just in case there's a problem, you don't have that feature with this mic system. The other big thing that you're giving up is the screen on the receiver. The Wireless Go 2 receiver, the DJI receiver, both have screens that will tell you things like, are they connected to microphones? Are the microphones on? What's the level of the audio coming in? What's the battery life on each one of the microphones? There's nothing like that on this mic system. So this is definitely made for the type of person who just wants to turn it on and use it really quickly and turn it back off. All right, this is an audio check so you can hear the difference between the DJI mic and the Rode mic. All right, this is an audio check so you can hear the difference between the DJI mic and the Rode mic. To my ears, the built-in Rode mics sound better than the built built-in mics on DJI's, which makes me even more excited for Rode's eventual competitor, 
to DJI's system. In conclusion, I cannot recommend the Sennheiser G4s. I just feel like it's old technology. They're big, cumbersome, expensive, and super unreliable. The Rode Wireless Go 2 system is incredible, except for that small clipping issue. And now that the DJI mics are on the market and they're approximately the same price, to me, I personally prefer the DJI mics. They're, they're smaller, they're more convenient, they don't have the clipping issue, they have all of the same great features that the Rode does, and they come with the really cool charging case. So for me personally, the clear choice is the DJI microphone. However, I do understand that the average person doesn't wanna deal with this much complexity. They're looking for a simple option, they're looking to save some money, and that is where the wireless me comes in.